Look, nobody wants to be in this situation. You got behind the wheel of your car, maybe you had a few drinks earlier in the night. I'm not saying you're intoxicated. I'm not even saying you broke the law because there is a legal limit of .08. And if you're underneath that legal limit, you might be entitled to drive your car safely. But the cop stops you. The cop has suspicions. Maybe there is alcohol in your breath. So what does the cop do? They want to have you perform maneuvers. They want to check you out. They'll tell you whatever they want to tell you in order to get you to cooperate with doing various things like walking down a straight line, standing with one leg raised, maybe staring into a light while they look at your eyes. I'm here to tell you, you do not have to do those tests. Those are called field sobriety tests or field sobriety exercises. And when the cops ask you to do those, they're asking you to agree to a voluntary test. I'm here to tell you that once they've done that, they already have a basis to believe you're intoxicated, regardless of whether you are or not. And when they're asking you to do those tests, they're just looking for additional evidence. My suggestion, don't do those tests because you don't have to do those tests. Allow your lawyers to deal with the case after the fact, but don't give the cops additional evidence. Most people can't walk a straight line without stumbling a little bit. The cops are going to assume it's because you're intoxicated. Don't give them that opportunity to get that on video. Let's use your lawyers instead. Carlson Meisner Hart and Hazlett, protecting your rights since 1971.